Steven. 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 Hmm? Yeah. I asked you, what did you do during summer? The familiar hard blue plastic chair is pressing against my back and the familiar smell of paper and dust of school fills my nostrils. And I remember sitting in this very chair, looking as the minute's hand edged closer and closer to 12, which would signal freedom. Tick, tock, tick, tock. And finally, the bell rang. I was laughing with my friends and we were all hyped. Summer, when we were younger, meant two months of free time to play Fortnite, grind Minecraft or whatever like video game was trending at the time. But now it was kind of different. Summer Bok is gonna go crazy, academic comeback like on god bro. They won't recognize me when I come back. Bro, trust, the glow up will be insane. Let me cook. That was all two months ago. It felt like a couple of days ago, but that was two whole months ago. I asked you, what did you do over summer? The teacher is staring at me now, and the rest of the classes as well. I feel myself blush, and I force a meek smile on my face, and I mumble But this, this, just like this and that, you know And I trail off The teacher's already moved on to the next person But I'm sat there, slapped in the face by reality This summer was one which I had promised to myself that I'd get so much done I was tired of constant procrastination, disappointment and underachievement But I'd blinked and the summer was over And I was just the same old average mediocre disappointing me Isn't it about time you locked in? Yeah, you. In this video, I'll show you how to make this summer one that will change the rest of your life forever in three simple steps. Seriously, you always see that one guy come back and he's like shredded and he looks amazing and just different. He had a summer arc, summer glow up. And you feel that slight twinge of jealousy when you see them, right? And you just kind of shove that to one side. But let me ask you something. Why can that not be you? This summer is literally a gold mine. It's time off school that allows you to level up as a person, learn in ways that you want and learn what you want. I'm Steven, also known as Jaysbug, and I used to want an academic comeback so, so bad. I used to be just like kind of mediocre. I fit in, like I wasn't doing too well, too bad. And I'd be so jealous of those like who'd get good grades and also just come back like with a transformation. Your teenage summers will pay off dividends in the future. Stocks give you a 7% return, but investing in yourself and like self-improvement gives you 700% returns, as Andy Elliott once said. Whether you want to transform yourself as a student, going from like a grade C level to A star, or you want to become self-disciplined, you want to build a physique you're proud of, you want to have a physical testament to like your hard work that you put in, or you just want to learn new skills that you hold on for the rest of your life. You can't do this if you feel stuck. At the end of each day, it feels like you're just like fighting a battle against yourself and you're plagued by self-disappointment. But if you implement these strict protocols, which I myself will be following as well, you too can have a massive transformation. Whether you know it or not, you have the most valuable thing in the world right now, and that's time. Time during your prime years. Time while still being under 20. Just close your eyes and imagine what it'd be like to finally live the life you want. Studying effortlessly and you become that student. Everyone likes you, but you're also just good at everything. A plethora of skills, sports and character traits that all come together in the form of an envelope. That envelope contains an acceptance letter into your dream university. Chapter 1. Goals. It's vital that to make progress during this summer, you have to know what your goals are. Without an end goal, the pot of gold at the end of the finish line, if you want to call it that, how will you know if you're making progress or you're actually doing what you want to do? Choose three things that you want to level up at and then make them your goal. But how do we go about deciding on goals? Imagine a long chain and each of like the cuffs represents an area of your life, your ability to focus, your ability to study, your physique, your mental health, your mood, your everything. And a lot of us like to focus on our strengths and reinforcing the links of the chain that are already strong. But a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. If one of those cuffs, like you have like an iron chain, but one of the cuffs were made out of paper, that chain is only as strong as a paper chain, right? Because they will just break there. So what are your weakest parts of your chain? And for you, it might be the fact that you can't like sit down and focus and study or focus on any type of work. It might be the fact that you're getting bad grades or perhaps it's your physique and you could really do with some leveling up in that aspect. And also as you start to like think about this, your brain also starts to like naturally bring up things that it wants to do, your pain points and things you have a passion for. Ask yourself, if no one would laugh at you and you were 100% true to yourself, what would you do? I had friends who like wanted to learn a new language, they wanted to learn how to like code, etc. But I always really wanted to speak on camera and start a YouTube channel. I always wanted to learn how to study because I've always been curious, like not just in the studying sense for school, but I always wanted to learn how to learn. I wanted to build a better physique. I'd always been like kind of insecure and I also wanted to get like validation from like girls and peers, obviously. And I've made progress in all of these areas, right? But I really want to lock in and go all in on these things over this summer as well. Write those things down. But most importantly, write down what you will do every single day to work towards those goals. For me, 
I would do at least two 90 minute deep work sessions a day on my YouTube channel, focusing 90% of that time on scripting and recording. I will read 20 pages a day and learn something new and apply it every single day. I work out every single day, whether it be cardio or weightlifting, I maintain a clean diet. I will do flashcards and content review for each of my subjects I will do next year. I will cut out cheap dopamine and I will remove things that detract from my overall productivity. And you see, I have my summer protocol written down and it's my wallpaper and I know what I have to do. And notice how it's all actions, what I am going to do, because the winner and the loser of the race both have the same goals. As Alex Ramosi said, winners commit to actions, losers wish for outcomes. It's all about your actions, so write down clear things that you will do and do them. Don't make them too ambitious, because if you end up missing days or not achieving them, you will feel demotivated and end up quitting. We all have that spike of motivation when we're so motivated to do like run 10k every single day, and then you like go outside and run like one day, but then you don't do it for the rest of the entire year, right? But at the same time, if your like goal or task is way too easy, you won't make any progress. Set actions or goals that are realistically unrealistic, just beyond your edge. It takes discipline for you to do it, but it's feasible enough for you to do every single day. Utilize streaks to track your progress online or in a notebook. You'll start to see like you tally up like the amount of days you do it. And then as Alex Mamosi says, you start to build up a stack of undeniable proof that you are really who you say you are. If you've gone to the gym for a whole week and you've woken up early, you did de-work every single day, that's undeniable proof that you are disciplined. You are going to see a change. Improving your identity and self-image feeds into your actions and your actions feed into identity. It's kind of like that symbiotic relationship. And chapter two, mindsets. It's so easy to get ahead of 99% of students this summer and use this time to practice making good decisions. A lot of the time, it's the fact that we lack the mental strength and self-discipline, and that's the reason we don't receive results, right? Well, you know how to study, you know what you should be doing, but it's a matter of fact, it's like our mental, it's like our brain is the weak link, like in that piece, so like, it's like the paper link of like the whole chain, right? Because we see the path of least resistance, like scrolling TikTok, and then we do that, we binge the most random things, we watch like random YouTube things, and we don't see progress. This summer, around 60 days for most of us, it's just enough time to build habits. We wanna be able to set up habits of working, learning how to focus on what matters, and getting the tasks done. And you can imagine in your head if you like zoom out and you imagine like what your like peers or like other classmates are doing. They just give in to temptations and the easy routes. They give in to instant gratification. So why not take this time to master your mind? Some simple things such as sticking to your actions, doing hard things like going to the gym, like eating the healthier thing instead of like the chocolate bar, even though you don't want to, will set yourself apart as a student. Because it's the student that can do things that they don't want to do, even when it's get tough and they still stick to that. And that's what like the top student is, right? That's who sees the most progress. However, if you say you are going to do something this summer, you must do it. Because each time you don't, it's like your discipline muscle is weakening and your brain understands that goals and tasks aren't important anymore because there's no consequence. Imagine you set loads of goals, but like you just like don't follow them each time. Like every time you set a new goal, your brain like unconsciously picks up on that and it realizes that the goals that you set are meaningless and you're not gonna follow them. Let's face it, it will be hard, but we knew that. It feels hard and difficult to be successful. If it was easy and like frictionless to become successful, everyone in the world would be successful, right? It's because it's hard that you find success in it. But you know like that pain and discomfort you feel, the days where you doubt whether this works for you or not, the urges you feel, they'll feel nowhere as bad. Like that level of like um, sadness or discomfort you feel will be nowhere near as the regret you feel where you look back and you regret not taking action. There's loads of millionaires saying like they give away all of their wealth, everything, just to be back like when they were 12, like starting over, being in their prime years again, because they know how much of an investment, like how much of a golden opportunity this is. Just ask your parents. And the thing you have to always remember is nothing gets easier. You just get better. For many of us, this will be the first time you actually take action and you wanna like start taking life seriously. And I'm not advocating for no fun, but my most amount of growth came when I locked in and I took my goal seriously and I did the actions. And look at where it's got to be. You have to start to believe in your abilities and capabilities. You become like the living, walking proof what you are capable about. Remove all the things that detract from your goals. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, shorts, junk food, all these things. Gain new skills and experiences. You are remembered by your skills. Two summers ago, I went walking for seven days with my dad in the Cotsworth, it's called Cotsworth Way in the UK, and it's a hundred miles long, right? That was an amazing challenge I had to overcome, but doing those things, like those experiences that like improving myself this way, these are things that I'll carry for with the rest of my life. Overcoming that challenge, improving your study skills and seeing your grades increase, it will all be worth it in the end. Imagine you at school and everyone looks at you with grudging respect. You're the one that others feel a slight twinge of jealousy for, because while they all stayed the same, you excelled. Stephen, what did you do during the summer? Oh, just this and that, you know. But this time, you don't feel sad because you're actually smiling because you know how far you've come and you're proud of yourself. And let's be honest, the top students, the ones who achieve success, they know that summer holidays is when they can truly get ahead. 
This is something I found out that allowed me to become one of the top students in my class. I spent the summer using a system that I've now put together into a program and it's being used by students all around the world. And if you just give me a moment of your time to listen about what this is, and I really think it will be beneficial for you. The Student Accelerator is not just a course, it's a step-by-step -step pathway to becoming an academic weapon, regardless of your current grades, habits or intelligence. Everything is explained through several hours of easy to watch and even easier to follow video training covering everything from how to easily beat procrastination, stress and anxiety, systems to use, to how to study the right way for every single subject, and much, much more. It can help you, just like Demir, who was struggling with studying for his massive upcoming exam that was given by the national government to all students, and using these techniques, he passed the exam, won a scholarship, and got into university. But you also get some insane bonuses, like a college and internship guide, making money as a student, weekly course with myself and top experts, and a lot, lot more. Go click the first link in the description if you'd like to join today. Because no matter what price you get in it, you're still covered by my unconditional money back guarantee for the first 30 days. Meaning, if at any point in the first 30 days of having the product, you don't like it, or you don't feel like you're getting any value out of it, you can ask for your money back, no questions asked. I'm doing this because I know you're going to love it and you're going to want to stay forever. That's how sure I am of this product. There's literally no risk on your part. You either join and you become a top student in your class, or I give you your money back, no questions asked. It's that simple. John Lennon once said, life passes you by while you're busy planning. Don't let your life pass by you, your dream life, while you're busy wishing your grades were better. Because now you no longer have a problem. Now you have a solution. And that solution comes with a choice. The choice to either ignore everything I've said so far and continue struggling in every class, test or exam, or take action and join the Student Accelerator and get all the skills you need to turn yourself from an average student to a straight A student in all regards, without spending 10 hours each day learning and regardless of current grades, habits or intelligence. And all you have to do is click that link below this video. That click is the only thing that stands between where you are right now and where you want to be, the best student in your class. That student who's like sitting in the back of the class and the teacher asks, what did you do during the summer? And he knows deep down he's done so, so much. And remember, if you're not happy for whatever reason, just let me know and I'll get you your money back. Just like one of my students, Jelt, who felt like he was stuck getting a five level on his Dutch, but he saw massive improvements once he took on board my tips and he joined the course and he took action. Or just like Amy, another student of mine, who's been able to consistently read, like do the good habits, go on runs, and she's been able to put in her best effort for exams while also pursuing the role of head prefect at her school. This is just one of many examples of the program working for countless other students. And you could look at like the full list of testimonials on the website. Just think about it. If I'm wrong, you're out a few minutes of your time, that's it. And just a quick email, you get your money back. But what if I am right? And what if just like my other students, this changes your life even just by like one, two, three, four, five percent, like the trajectory. That's gonna pay off huge dividends in the future. All I'm asking you to do is try. I'm not asking you to say yes. I'm asking you to say maybe. And just say maybe for 30 days. There's literally no risk for you. Listen, it's up to you. A month from today, you can be nothing more than 30 days older. Or you can be on your way to becoming a star student in your class or improving in whatever regard you want to as a student. It's up to you. And so go to the link below and I'll be waiting for you on the other side. Or I'll be showing you how to go from average student Student to a straight A student without spending 10 hours each day learning and regardless of current grades, habits or intelligence. Let's do it together. And in case you need to convince your parents to help out financially, I created a quick 5 minute video that explains the whole program to them which has helped many students join, which you can access on the page in the description below. Just look for parents video. We also have split pay options and support for any questions you may have. So click the link in the description below and take advantage of today's 100% risk-free opportunity to claim the grades and life you truly deserve. I'll see you inside and I hope this kind of summer transformation video helped you in some regard. Remember, winners commit to actions, losers wish for outcomes, and we will know which one you are. Steven, Steven, wake up, you stupid little boy.